Simply Bean at it again today with a rather strawberry-esque kind of face going on. I just ate like a hot meal and now my face is really red for whatever reason it's decided to be red. Does anybody else have this problem or is it just me? It makes eating out kind of difficult, I'm not gonna lie. You end up with a strawberry red face. I'm getting distracted. Let's stop talking about it. It'll make it go away. It's fine. <laughs> So despite my strawberry-esque appearance, I am not doing another strawberry tea video. <gasps> ah, it's so funny. What I am doing is more of a brown tone, kind of sultry but adorable. That's kind of the vibes that I've got in my head right now. If it comes out like that, then that's a whole other story. So to start, I'm wearing a brown wig, as you can probably tell. But I've also got in some rather nice green contact lenses, which I'll bring you in for a closer look. These are from a company called TTDI. They do a multitude of different contact lenses and they occasionally send me some for free because they're very nice over there. They're just such nice people. And the reason why I accept them, test them out and include them in most of my videos is because I feel like they're very comfortable to wear. They're probably one of the easiest contact lenses to actually put in. I don't know what it is. They just seem to go in a little bit quicker. Not brilliantly, but I feel like that's probably down to my skill rather than the actual contact lenses themselves. I just suck at it. That's why I never include that footage because most of the time it's me swearing and getting angry and yeah. This wig though isn't anything special. This is just a wig that I've found on Amazon and like the look of it. As there are all my wigs, I don't ever get those for free. I, I wish I would, but nobody likes me in the wig industry. I've already primed my skin. I did that off camera because I didn't think it was interesting. And now I'm going to go in with some concealer. This is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in the very, very light shade Fur Rose because I am pissed. Eh. The way that I like to do concealer is I just dot it underneath my eyes like that as opposed to doing a triangle or any of those other shapes that beauty girls seem to do nowadays. I feel like the more product I put under my eyes, the more likely it's going to cake no matter what concealer I use. I'm just going to blend that out like so. It's just going to be one of those makeup looks today. The inconsistent skin kind of look. Anywho, let's move on. I now have this Bare Minerals powder foundation. This is a more recent purchase. I am yet to properly test it out to see how long lasting it is in terms of like a full day. But for makeup looks, it's pretty nice to work with. I feel like this particular color is slightly dark for my skin, but hey, you know, most foundations are. I'm not going to really give it much beef for that, you know. Okay, I'm just gonna use this bad boy here. Just sort of like a foundation-y kind of brush. Why does it smell? Where did you come from? That's what happens when you find a brush you don't usually use. There might have been a reason why you don't usually use it and I'm finding it out now. Got a weird smell, needs washing. Okay, we're looking a little bit more normal now. I've started pulling you guys away from my face a little bit. Whoa, 3D. <laughs> I've decided to start keeping you guys a little bit further away from my face because after reviewing and watching some of my videos, which I don't really particularly enjoy doing because it's me and I have to edit them after all. I don't really want to see any more of my face, but I did notice that you were considerably close and I would argue a little bit too close. Too close for comfort. After all, you know, we're supposed to be social distancing and everything, you know, I'm, I'm funny. Right, okay, we're done with that. Let's just get that out of there. Stinky brush. Let's move on to the next step, which is a rather nice bronzing highlighting thing. I am not completely convinced or sure what this product is. It advertised itself as a bronzing highlight. Those two things in my mind are two different things. So I don't really know how that computes, but I've noticed that it seems to have highlighting pebbles in there and then bronzing pebbles in there. So overall, I would describe it as sort of just a bronzing shimmer. The question is, where do you put that on your skin? Bronzer you put underneath your cheekbones. Highlight you put on top of your cheekbones. Where do you go? But I bought it, so I'm gonna use it. And for this one, I'm just gonna go in the middle and Pray that that's fine. I still like to put it on my nose. Ooh, that's a shiny nose. Oh yeah, looking like a wet dog nose. Just a little bit more on the lip or hair. I mean, it's making me itchy. Okay, we're done with that. Let's put that away. Got this like foaming thing as well that I kind of have to like squish in there. I don't think it's the most well thought out product. I think that's the general idea that I get from this. Is it doesn't know what it is and I don't know what it is either. And then it's just a constant question with this thing. But it's all right. 
<laughs> Moving on to the next thing on the list, which is going to be brows. Brows. I'm going to use this easy brow tattoo because it's like a felt tip kind of thing. You're best doing upward strokes, or at least that's what I've found anyway. Rather than like trying to fill it in like you would do with a powder or even a pencil really, for this you're more like creating extra hairs. Just bear that in mind that it may take a little bit longer than your usual brow product because if you're gonna be drawing intricate tiny little hairs on your face that obviously is gonna take a while. Okay. They look like brows. Okay, the next thing that I'm gonna do is wipe the lip sweat off my upper lip. Attractive. Um, so the next step is I'm gonna take my trusty eye tape and stick it to my eye bit at the end. You know, yeah, that tape is on. So I'm gonna take this rather nice palette that I've got here. It's by Etude House and it's called Play Color Eyes. Imaginative title. I really like this palette so far because I find, although it's not as pigmented as say my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, I think that the colors are very cute. So I'm gonna make a start first of all with this matte brown eyeshadow here and we're gonna work with that first. And my camera is dying. Basically, I've put some on the end of my brush tapped it off a little bit on the edge. I'm just gonna go in with circular motions like this. And I'm holding the brush like in this angle, which isn't great for filming because the camera seems to focus on my hand more than the eye. But trust me that if you go in with like this kind of angle, it comes out better than if you did like this kind of motion. Small circles at this angle just seem to make it come out better. This is why I love tape, because without tape I'd be doing this all gently and carefully, but because there's tape there I'm just like... Eee. And the other thing that I like to do is go in with small amounts of product at a time. You can always build up on colour, but you can't really take it away. It's just like game over at that point. Now that I've done that, I'm going to go in with this goldy shimmery colour with the smaller side of this brush and I'm going to do my inner corners. I like doing this as opposed to making my eyeliner go into my corners because I feel like I have particularly bad like bags in the inner corners so anything to brighten that area up just seems to make my makeup look that bit better a little bit of sparkle in the little tear duct there just kind of suits me you know again going with tiny bits of product and just build it up gradually until you feel happy with it is much better than globbing a lot on there and causing a mess you know I'm now gonna go in with the lightest shimmery shade on this palette, just this end one here, and I'm gonna do my brow bone area here. Just kind of brighten it all up, you know, make it look all nice, and put a little bit more in my inner corner. Another thing I like to do with these kind of highlighting shades is just take it on the fluffier side of the brush, like this, and to just add on to this glow that I've got going. I know this isn't for everyone, I know that some people would see this as being a little bit overboard, but I like a glow, you know? The glowier the better, that's just how I like it. I'm now gonna move on to a little tiny winged liner. This is the Epic Ink Liner by NYX. So I've been quite enjoying doing a more subtle winged liner look recently just kind of doing like a tiny little bare minimum one i feel like it makes my eyes look a little bit more wider and brighter as opposed to doing a big thick line and just kind of gives it more of a cutesy kind of look as opposed to a dramatic look so to do this you want to just follow it down I like to keep it angled like this. I feel like with this you have less control over it. Yeah, it's just me. I also feel like that runs the risk of ruining the end of it a lot quicker. You're like smashing it into your eye, you know? Okay, well, they came out a little bit thicker than I wanted to, but oh well, that's life. I'm gonna now do the best bit, and that is healing this off. Ooh, ooh, I feel lighter. Next thing I'm gonna do is curl my lashes and be very careful not to smudge or move away any of the eyeliner that you've just worked so hard on, you know? Oh, I just pinched my eyeball. Yay. Did it again. Okay, well, you know, like I said, you don't want to pull away any of your eyeliner. It's exactly what I just did. And it hurt. Fixed. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is go in with some mascara, mascara for those who are normal. And I'm just gonna put this on my lashes, you know? All right, so I've stuck some lashes on as well. I kind of just skipped that step because one, I'm not very good at putting lashes on in front of a camera and two, my camera is dying because I'm a terrible YouTuber who doesn't charge their equipment regularly enough. I'm stupid. 
yet. Okay, so the lashes are on. They're looking okay. These lashes, I don't even know what brand they are anymore because they are currently in a unlabeled, unpackaged piece of plastic and that's it. So let's move on to my favorite step, which is the lips. So I've got this Lipping Gold Flower Lip Glow. I don't even know what the brand is on this, but it's pretty because it's got a tiny flower in it. Oh my God, it's so cute, look at it. And this has got like a pinkish tone to it. And I cannot talk when I'm putting it on. I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. Modern Metals Lip Gloss, which is this beautiful golden glitteriness to it that I just love. And even though this is gonna cause the wig to stick to my face, I cannot help myself and have to put it on. Are you sensing a theme with like my favorite products all tend to be glittery and glowy? I like to shine so brightly. And that's it. That is the end of this makeup look. It is a easy, natural, simple. Does look like it's missing something though. I'm gonna give myself some freckles. My eyelashes odd. This is the final look. I added some freckles, some freckles. I don't know why I did that. That was stupid and dumb. Well, as always, if you like this video, then don't forget to hit that like button if you want to see more of this content and some of my other, maybe slightly more weird content. I don't know, I can't say anything about that. Click that subscribe button. I don't know why I can't say anything about that. It's a weird sentence. And if you want to be a full on stalker, then click that bell icon and you will keep up to date in all of my shenanigans. And also comment because I think the comments are probably my favorite part about doing this. Just seeing all your nice words and all your kindness just makes my cold heart become warmer, you know? And that is it. Bye.